Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Another quick update on the TFSA Well Simple Trade Portfolio. I did another deposit. I want to probably do, I think, one more deposit, hopefully by the end of January, but I did put $200 into my Well Simple TFSA account. And here's the stocks that I bought today. Let's just jump right in. We'll show you what we purchased, and then we will do a overview on how the market is doing. It's been a choppy week so far, and we are only on Tuesday. All right, here we are. We are in the Well Simple TFSA Trade Portfolio. We're using the app, and we filtered down into the activity of the TFSA. You and filter down through this app uh, and just to have our buys that we can show. So beginning of the day, uh, if you've been following the market yesterday, it was not a great day. Uh, everything was kind of down uh, a little bit, but again, everything seems to be down and then bounce back up before at the end of the day. So I took advantage and got a couple of purchases in that I wanted to get and we'll go through here. So uh, today, January 11th, $200 I put in. Uh, the first one that I did notice is uh, Trans Alta Renewables. Now their stock was down substantially today, but again, this is a long-term hold for me. I purchased just two more shares, but the price was actually quite down quite a bit. There's a they had uh, they have to actually replace the turbines in a couple of their wind farms back east. Now it's not a great thing. It's going to cost them, about, I think, about a hundred million dollars, roughly, from what I've uh, what I've read. Now I think in the long term, though, that those are all going to come back online. So as long as it's not you know, too much change with the dividend. I think this is still a good long-term hold for my portfolio. So I purchased two more shares of R and W holding these minimum five, 10 years. So not too worried. Um, and then again, uh, VFV was down a little bit. Uh, we purchased one more share of that. That one is an expensive share, uh, but we did get one at $104 and 29 cents. We'll jump into the portfolio to show how the price has kind of recovered a little bit by the end of the day. And then I also purchased a VFV, uh, one share on that. Uh, and sorry, that was the same one, BFV, uh, ETC. This is the uh, Evolve Cryptocurrencies ETF. Uh, four shares on that. Uh, cryptocurrencies have been following along. It is, uh, they are down. So I think this is still a good time to kind of build that position up. Uh, four shares of that average uh, at, at 997. I think that was kind of a steal. That's actually the lowest price this uh, ETF has been since launching. So hopefully that pays off. Uh, and also purchased one share of Telus, 29.46. And I did have some funds left over and I did purchase one more share of ETC. Uh, and again, at that time it was up to $10 and 10 cents. So let's just jump into the portfolio and we'll show how we did for the day and how the week has been going so far. Right here we are back into the main TFSA uh, trade portfolio. As you can see, we're up a little bit today. This is a bit deceiving though, because I did put that deposit in for $200. So shares were up 2.86%. Uh, we're not, uh, we're up $12.87 on the day. So let's just go show, to go through and show how we are doing. Uh, BEP.UN, Brookfield Renewables. Uh, again, up a little bit. This one is down substantially from the past year. So I think I'm going to keep putting into this one as my next deposit. We'll add some more Brook Free Renewables. Um, we were up a little bit today, 0.74%, which is nice to see it kind of coming up. Uh, but we're unfortunately down 6.73% total on the portfolio. This Chen's shares, this one is a pricey share as well. Uh, CMC, Cielo Waste Solutions actually had a pretty good day, uh, up 30.61%. So we're at 32 cents. We're still down quite substantially on that all time. You can see here, we're still down 74.16% on Cielo, but maybe this is a sign of, of something good happening. We'll see how that, how that goes. We'll see if that can continue up. Uh, ETC uh, up on the day to 62.63%, uh, 26 cents, which is nice. Uh, so we're still down a little bit on obviously on the portfolio, 29%, but uh, our average price is coming down with that purchase we just made. And we were up today 2.55%, which I think is pretty good, a good long-term. I think this is going to be a good long-term hold in the TFSA for sure. Uh, green lane renewables not much action on that one today uh we are still uh down 18.17 percent we'll keep adding to that as we go though not too worried about that rei.un this is our real can real estate investment trust uh, up 1.1 percent 1.11 percent today which is nice uh, our total value now with 25 shares we're up 9.47 percent on rei which is kind of nice uh, to see uh, rnw you can see in the in the chart, we are down today 9%, uh, unfortunately, because of the issues they're having back east. But if you are, you know, I'm still, uh, as a long-term investment, I think we're gonna see some, hopefully some growth on this. We'll continue to add to the portfolio. We'll keep it, we'll definitely keep an eye on this one though, to see as long as their dividends do continue and they can keep giving those dividends, then we'll, 
we'll see how this goes. Uh, but the plan is to still add to our NW. Unfortunately, down 15.75%, but obviously today didn't help by losing 9% on the, the entire day with RNW. Uh, Solar Alliance Energy, let's just so see here. We're still down 55%, but again, we don't have a big position in there. So not too worried about that one. We'll just kind of, that's kind of our fun money. We'll see what happens uh, with Solar Alliance Energy. Uh, Slate Office Reit back kind of up over $5, which is nice. We were, we were stayed flat for the day, which is okay. Uh, we're just down 2.88%, not too worried about that. We do have 65 shares. That is our Slate Office Reit. We'll get our monthly dividends on that, which are nice to see. The dividends are starting to kind of start to build up on the channel. So I can actually, you know, I get enough dividends for the month and can purchase an entire stock for a lot of these stocks, which is nice, nice to see. Uh, tell us 0.47 up on the day, which is nice. Uh, we do have 16 shares because we added one uh, with this purchase and we we're up 0.48% today in all time, 5.44%, which is nice. That's nice to see when something is up. Uh, now VDY Vanguard, the Canadian high dividend yield ETF. This one has been on a tear lately. Uh, it's been doing good. It was down. Everything, everything has been down yesterday, but we had a good recovery at the end of the day. As you can see here, uh, we are up 0.92% on the day. Uh, we have 40 shares of VDY up 13.13%, which is nice to see. And again, regular dividends coming through on that one. Uh, I believe we actually got a dividend had come in for that. We'll do a, we always do a recap of the dividends for the month uh, when the month rolls over. So we'll get into that, but I believe one came in today. I have to double check that though. Uh, VFV, Vanguard S&P 500. This is one we added at one stock today. Again, pricey stock, uh, but we are up 0.15 today, which is kind of nice to see over yesterday because we were down yesterday and we did manage to do a purchase. Um, if we come down here at the very bottom, we can see our purchases today uh, at $104.29, which is nice. So we, we kind of, you know, it's nice to buy something that the stock not come down right away uh, uh, obviously and we we're up a total 5.78 percent on vfv for our 20 shares on that let's just go through and again we'll show you how the portfolio is doing so far uh, today is obviously a little bit off like i said because we've added the 200 it takes a day to reconcile but we can look and see how the week we are down still a little bit on the week uh, 4.14.17 very little i would call that flat but you can see from the chart here how it has dropped yesterday and then back up today let's hope that hopefully this will continue uh, but on the month, uh, $207.19, 2.78 on the month, which is nice. Uh, three months down a little bit, 48 bucks, $50 on the portfolio. And this on the one year, we are down 0.95%. I think that's okay for a portfolio we're building the base of, and we'll see some, some appreciation, I think, in this coming year as we start to continually to slowly but surely add to this portfolio. So all time is going to be exactly the same because we have not been going for a year yet. So I think we're doing okay. Uh, if if you have any uh, comments on that, let me know down in the comments and see how the portfolio is doing. It's also, uh, you know, uh, it's a portfolio is just starting out, possibly not in all of the best investments, but we're, hey, we're learning here as I go, um, which is nice to see. So we're only down one, you know, $73.37. That will come back quite easily, especially now that we're starting to build the value of the portfolio up. So not too worried on that. All right, that's the update for the week so far. We'll give an update more towards the end of the week. It's always nice to kind of jump in and see how the, the, the portfolio is doing. Uh, next deposit plan is probably towards closer to the end of the month. Uh, we'll see how the, the funds go. Obviously not trying to put everything I have into my TFSA. Don't forget, you have to keep some savings for, you know, rainy day fund and all those expenses along the way. It would be nice if we could put everything into an investment and hope uh, get great returns. But again, it's nice to have some cash in the bank sometimes too. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions or comments, I'm always happy to answer them down in the uh, comment section. Leave me a comment. I, if I know the answer, I will uh, try and answer for you. If I don't, I'll try and steer you in the right direction. One last thing, we are up to just over 600 subscribers of the channel. So thanks to everybody that's been following along. It's pretty awesome. We're getting quite a good uh, community here. We're getting a lot of uh, regulars on the channel that are watching and leaving comments. I really appreciate everybody that is following along. If you have a idea for a video or something that you want to see on the channel, again, leave me a comment down below. I'd be happy to try and uh, do a video on that topic. If I, can, uh, if I can help in any way, I'd be happy to help. That's all everybody. See you all in the next video and have a great rest of the day.